Negotiating a new or used car deal in the often confusing and challenging world of 2022. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth to help you car buyers out there to navigate this overpriced and rapidly changing car business from what it was just two short years ago. Today's video is for those of you who actually need another vehicle. If you just want a car, well wait. Being patient will pay off. We hope to give you enough value in this video that you'll consider subscribing if you're not already on board with us. It's no secret that the economy in this country is in really big trouble right now. We've got runaway inflation, the Fed is raising interest rates again, fuel prices are at record highs, car prices are through the roof, and the outlook for the long-term value of the dollar is on very shaky ground. We'd be foolish to not believe that things are going to continue to get worse, perhaps a lot worse. Scary times right now, Kevin. Very true, and of all the information Liz just mentioned, makes the cars sitting on a dealer's lot up, up for, for negotiation. negotiation. Yes, don't get careless with what you have left of your hard-earned cash. We've got some tips for you new vehicle shoppers, as well as for those of you willing to settle for something used. Let's hit the new car buyers first. You've seen our car videos covering dealers who are not engaging in huge MSRP markups. The better dealers, like Earl Stewart in Florida, are trying to be very transparent with that fact, so they're posting a notice right on their website. Earl's message says, don't pay above MSRP. Inventory shortages are not your wallet's problem. Hey, way to go. And we totally agree. If you are thinking of shopping for a new car near you and you don't see this type of posting on their website, call them and ask before you go. Call them and ask if they're doing market adjustments and do not visit the dealer if they say they have a market adjustment for any amount of money. Any amount. Just laugh, tell them to go <laughs> pound sand, and then hang up. The only thing they will do if you show up there is to hose you. Yeah, and you knew better. Even if you go to a dealer not doing MSRP market adjustments, make sure you don't forget to also decline any fees like fat dealer dock fees and dealer prep fees. Also, you most definitely do not need an extended warranty right now, so don't get hooked on that unnecessary expense either. It's time to play your cards very smart, so ignore all that nonsense about this is what most of our customers do. This is nothing more than an age-old ploy known as the common knowledge trick. They think if they tell you everyone is doing it that you'll think it's smart for you to do it too. Now, there are a few new car dealers out there who are putting together below MSRP deals, but they are few and far between. So consider yourself very fortunate if you get a deal like that right now. Mm -hmm. The days of dealer invoice, less hold back and other discounts is on the back burner for right now. So sadly, MSRP is about the best new car deal you can get. We are rooting for you to get lucky. One more thing, you won't hear me recommending leases very often, but if you are still thinking about a new vehicle, after you have the price nailed down, consider leasing the vehicle short term, like 12 months. It's one way of saving your pocketbook from all that big fat depreciation that is guaranteed to happen over the next few years. This is the one time I'm going to advise, if you want a brand new car, go with a lease. All right, let's shift gears and go to used cars right now. As we head into territory filled with uncertainty and a lot of opportunity for economic chaos, the expense of carrying cars on the dealer lots steadily increases for them. The smart ones know they need to move their vehicles sooner than later. You must use this knowledge to your advantage. Dealers are very concerned about the road ahead and right now are much more inclined to deal with you to get a car moved. They can't afford to get stuck with inflated cars when things crash. That's right. And if you have your sights set on a specific used car out there, Start your negotiations about 10% below their asking price. Research this in advance so you have a number in mind. Be also ready with a number that's 7.5% below their asking price and refuse any deal that isn't at least 5% below their asking price. You must get them to move. Here's an example. If the asking price is 25000 hit them with a 10% reduced first offer of twenty two five. With a little luck, they'll take it. If they push back and negotiations continue, keep a 7.5% reduction in mind to 23125 On a closing note, go no higher than a final offer of 23750 a 5% reduction. Here's another example. Let's say the asking price is 18 dollars 
shoot for a 10% reduced first offer of $16,650. With a little luck, they'll take it. If they turn it down and negotiations continue, keep the 7.5% reduction in mind to $17,110. On a closing note, go no higher than a final offer of $17,575, a 5% reduction. One more example. Let's say the asking price is a bit higher, like $30,000. Shoot for a 10% reduced first offer of $27,000. With some luck, they'll take it. If they bulk at it and negotiations continue, keep the 7.5% reduction in mind to $27,750. On a closing note, go no higher than a final offer of $28,500, a 5% reduction. Now, that's a $1,500 you get back in your pocket for doing a little work. Again, yep. you must make them move. Great examples, Kevin. And yes, you must make the dealer budge off their asking price. Now, before the questions start popping in the comment section, let me say this. Right now is not a good time to visit a one price car dealer. Nobody should be stuck on the prices they have listed. Nobody. Financial uncertainty lies ahead. Any dealer who isn't a complete idiot should be more than willing to deal with you. If you're going to gamble and buy a car right now, when prices are at record highs, at least get some money off the asking price. That's right. If you do decide to visit a one price dealer anyway, at least make sure their prices are already 75 to 10% below the prices of other nearby dealers. Sure. Do the research and know what you're up against before you venture out car shopping. And if you plan to finance, as always, talk to your own bank or credit union first. And while we're on the topic of used cars, get any used car inspected by a reputable mechanic. I have always done this when buying a used car, and when I get a green light from the mechanic, I always refuse the extended warranty too. Tons of money saved. And I have never regretted that decision. Never. Every single car that Liz has bought has been a used car, and she has never been burned by not buying the extended warranty. Mm -hmm. Never. Also, when you sit down in finance, refuse any dealer added fees. They are making enough money already. Don't let them get away with packing your deal full of extra fees and products like the extended warranty that Liz just mentioned. The finance officers in every dealership are generally the biggest pigs, oink, oink, when it comes to <laughs> gouging customers. So don't let them burn you. And finally, I'd like to say a special thanks to anyone who has sent in donations on my behalf. It's been heartwarming to be remembered by so many of you people. Thank you very much. And still, right now, 100% of donations from viewers are going directly to Kevin's ongoing care and medical expenses. You're looking and sounding great today, Kevin. What's next for you? I'm heading out of state next week for more electrotherapy from my brother. It's been a big help in my recovery. All right, folks, if you appreciate this video today, consider giving us a great big thumbs up. And please, always remember to comment on our videos and share them with family and friends. And subscribe if you're not already on board with us. Also, if you go out and get yourself what you believe to be a good car deal and are treated fairly and with respect by a dealer, remember to come back and share your story with us so others know who the good guys are. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go. Thank <laughs> you.